So if you guys want to support the channel a bit, you can go ahead and use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description below at no additional cost to you. It helps out the channel. If you don't know what TCG Player is, you can basically buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. So if you either play the TCG, want some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or you just play Master Duel, but you find some cards really cool, you can go ahead and buy them there. Look, another episode of Master Duel Madness. We have two Platinum players. Plat 1 actually already this early in the season. So Sky Strikers, let's hope this is a good game. Oh, this is going to be extremely just meta match. Tri Brigade versus Sky Striker. Two very good decks. He activates uh, Keras. He's going to nerve all effect. Adding Keras. I mean, he activated Fractal. My bad. Uh, Keras effect in hand. He's going to send. So he is playing Zodiac Tri Brigade. Going to summon Brigitte. Summon the Kit. Okay, he's going to go into Link 4 already. Appaloosa. Whenever they can make Appaloosa. They're good. Fergit, I'm gonna activate. Rampard, gonna activate. Okay, he's gonna add Revolt, the standard thing to do, really. Banish one card. Drawn Return, I mean. Okay, so Sky Strikers, I really like this. Like, he has the Afterburners that completely just negate the Appaloosa, basically. Just gonna get rid of it. So he does Ash the Desires. A lot of people ask me, is it correct to Ash the Desires? Isn't it? Personally, I always ash the desire since it's if you don't ash it, it's a plus one. So you kind of you kind of have to, but he it does get ashed. But our player does have talents, which is gonna hurt a lot. He might even take the Appaloosa. No, he's not. Okay, yep. Yeah. Jamming waves. He's gonna bait out right away. He's gonna bait that out. So basically, that's not gonna be relevant. It's not gonna use as interruption. I mean. He summons four, uh, four monsters out, and then he's gonna make a Shurig. Usually that's what they do. And Sky Strikers are gonna get a lot better when Destiny Hero comes out. Okay, so Jamming Waves. So what happened there is Jamming Waves, I believe he had three spells in Grave, so he did destroy that, and then he destroys another monster. So, this is not looking good for a tri Brigade player. He got absolutely whooped. He's not gonna die, obviously, but yeah, Afterburner's gonna destroy the Appaloosa. Yeah, I. Sky Strikers are so strong. In the battle phase, he's gonna attack with Ray, and then he's gonna activate the effect of Ray. Yep, that's what you do, and then you make a Hayate. Use the effect. Most likely engage, yeah. Dumping and engage. Then he has to go into Zeke, just to get rid of his main monster. That's what they do. I've played this deck also since release for like four years now. It's been way too long. Then he goes into Kaina. He's gonna link into Kagari. Why he went into Kaina there? Only because he has a uh, Pot of Avarice in hand. That's the only reason why you'd want to do it. Because you want to fill up with as many monsters and shuffle and draw. So, yeah. Kagari. I'm going to add the Engage. Engage can add Widow Anchor. I'm gonna draw an Upstart. Upstart makes us that crazy. Like it actually does. Then he's gonna make uh, the Shizuku, and then he's gonna Avarice. I'd like to see that he added the multi-roll more. Multi-roll would have been better here, since he could have, in the end phase, what he could have done is effect of Shizuku, add Widow Anchor, effect of Widow Anchor, negate your Shizuku, and then multi-roll effect, set the Widow Anchor. So, you know, it's kind of... You have to see what you want to do. So Shizuku's gonna add the multi-roll. Yeah, that... This isn't the optimal play. Like, I've played the deck enough to know that that's not the optimal play with Pot of Avarice in hand. But hey, he still has a lot of interruptions. Ash Blossom, Shark Cannon. He's gonna take that, because then his opponent cannot go into Zeus. One thing that I would have liked to see more is for him to actually waste his battle phase. He's gonna activate multi rolls he's gonna go into the Kagari. Kagari gonna add back Engage. And yeah, there's not a lot. Our, this is getting kind of out of hand, I'm gonna be honest. One card I've never liked in Sky Strikers is Desire, so let's see what he banished. So, is, is it important? So, Kaiser Coliseum, Engage, see? Yeah, since Engage is at 2 here, okay, but still, I I, I don't agree. With, with you having 3 upstarts, you don't really need that much, like, draw power. Multi roll is going to destroy the area zero, and he is going to chain to that. So, and then he's going to chain. So, what happens is Sky Strikers can only activate their spells if there's no monster in the main monster zone. 
he chains on top of his uh, spells and traps. So it all just summons at once, basically. That's how it works. So he's going to summon here. He's going to summon four monsters at once. Three monsters, I mean. Here is here when it's destroyed. He's going to summon Ray. Four. Oh, I was right. Four. Yeah, I remembered and forgot about Gross. That's crazy. Okay, Unicorn. And Unicorn is going to go into an Axis code. He had game on board already. This is kind of flexing that he has an Axis code. Yeah, he had the normal. I mean, what? <laughs> and Ray can in the battle phase change obviously into another Sky Striker. So he definitely had game on board there. But yeah, you want to flex. I get it. <laughs> I I still don't have an Axis code. <laughs> I I I feel insulted here. I kid you not. Half the people in Platinum are playing Numeron Control at the moment. Numeron OTK. I mean, like stop it, stop it, please stop it. But here we have Dark War Dealings, Implication, Bluestone, and Melody, so I have no clue what's going to happen here. Set one card pass. Why didn't you set the card by the grave? Oh my. End phase. What's happening? Chaos form. No. Oof. Yeah, I should have. Imitation books. I'm going to reveal Chaos form. I'm going to special summon itself. Candle. Candle is going to add Advanced Ritual Art. Melody of Awakening Dragon, he's gonna discard the Call by the Grave. Add two Chaos Maxes, wow. Advanced Ritual Art. And a special summon out. You guessed it, the Chaos Max. Another Chaos Form. Gonna special summon out. Again, another Chaos Max. That's exactly lethal. This is the most complicated way you can actually kill someone by summoning two Blue Oz Chaos Max Dragons in the same turn. Today we have everyone's favorite deck. Numeron OTK! Whoopee! Yeah! I hate this deck with a passion. This is no, he has the Max C. No, I'm rooting for the Tribe Brigades so much. Please win here. Please win. He's gonna send Kit. Kit is gonna send Nerval. You have to do something. Please do something. Don't play. Don't play through the. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Kaiju. So our player, our opponent is completely dead. He hard drew the revolt, or did he add it? I can't remember honestly. He's gonna max C. At least. Okay, that's two draws. Revolt is going to special summon, but what is he actually going to special summon here that's going to help him? I mean, obviously he doesn't know he's playing versus, you know, Numeron OTK. Come on, do it. Come on. Play the Kaiju, come on. You can do it. Another Cosmic Cyclone. He's bullying this guy. Just end him. Lightning Storm. Bam. Go ahead. Yeah, Lightning Swarm, destroy all attack position monsters. Oh, actually, I forgot. Uh, Numerons do need a monster to attack into. Numeron Network. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what this card does. During your opponent's main phase, you can special summon love for it. Mm, but the turn a card during the end phase is... Okay. Okay, if he has four monsters, his opponent cannot actually kill him. Okay, actually he can. They're not in defense. Scratch that. He now he needs to attack the Nervo. Yeah, he didn't mess that up. What a stupid deck. What a stupid deck. This is a deck probably none of you new players have ever seen. Infernity. Now I don't know what the deck really does. Playing versus Spiral, wow. Monster card was selected and he revealed the trap. He's just gonna end on Agent. Wow. Okay, let's see what Infernity can do. Upsorry Goblin is gonna draw a card. He's gonna add Infernity Necromancer, Lure of Darkness, Banishing the Necromancer, and Regen Knight sends. Now, Infernity really needs for them to not have any cards in hand. Like, if you read, let's say, Infernity Archfiend, when you draw this card and you have no other cards in hand, so when this card is normal, Simon changes it to. 
so it, their combos are weird. He has Infernity, so if you, card, if you have no cards in your hand, again, so it's not really going to be live. I'm interested to see how this, can, this is going to actually work out. Drone is added. Drone is a normal summoned. Then he goes into... This is one of the strongest and first Link monsters that was ever made. Double Helix. He's going to add back a last resort. Now he's going to call a monster. Yeah. It's going to special summon out Master Plan. Master Plan is a non once per turn add when it's special summoned. He's going to activate Last Resort. With these two monsters, he's going to go into Barricade Borg Blocker to protect his uh, Spiral Resort. So if I believe him, once per turn you can add one. During the end phase, you can shuffle a monster from your garret into the deck or destroy this card. So he's going to choose to destroy it and then he's going to protect it. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Infinite Impermanence is on that. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know how you play versus this deck, like, optimally. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Spiral Resort is not at one here. Oh, I'm stupid. Super Agent is going to activate. Again, it's still a monster. It's going to destroy it. Banishing the trap to special summon out the master plan. Master plan is gonna add. This card is broken. Adds assault. So he's playing a like really pure version of spirals. Hmm. Assault gonna activate. So that's negated. Okay. He's gonna special summon out quick fix. Quick fix is gonna add big red. It's big red or reborn? I think it's a reborn. Bring back the double helix. Celine. So this is probably... What can you bring back with this? Can you bring the master plan back out? Is it... Wow, I had no idea. You can bring out the master plan and add a rescue. Master plan has added like four cards. Probably access code. Am I right? No, Appaloosa. He's flexing the negate. Okay. Oh no, he that access code with a link four. 6,000. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, I really need to make a spiral deck now if it's not too expensive. Since I just... This deck is completely slaughtered in the TCG. Like, you have no clue. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe button. Again, check out my TCG player affiliate link. Also, subscribe. I mean, not subscribe. Follow my Instagram, and until next time, peace out.